this space junk is out of control and heading for Earth, should we be worried? Yeah, I mean, it, uncontrolled and heading for us is never words you obviously want to piece together, but uh, this is the reality of the situation. Uh, once you lose control of a piece of debris, th that's pretty much it. You can't really solve it. And in this case, because it was a rocket booster, there actually never was control once it was put into orbit. Uh, and so the issue we really have is we have an uncontrolled piece of debris, and because the atmosphere really does change, it's actually hard to predict where on earth it's going to hit and therefore when. So there's a lot of uncertainty about when this thing will come down. So we do know it'll come down and most likely it will happen over an uninhabited piece of earth. But we do know that it'll land anywhere between plus 42 and minus 42 latitude, which is from like Copenhagen to south of Tasmania, which is you know pretty much the whole world. As a resident of Earth like you, I'm not worried about this thing falling on my head. Chances are it's going to wind up in the water, as Phil mentioned, and it'll probably be broken up to very small pieces. So infinitesimal chance of anybody being hurt on the ground. However, it's a concern because it's uh, embarrassing for a spacefaring country like China to uh, let this garbage fall on our heads. It's not supposed to go this way if you're a spacefaring power. Now, on the other hand, it's a symptom of space debris that's up there above us. Um, the 500,000 pieces that could shatter the walls of a new space station or the International Space Station. So it is a concern. No, so, I mean, it looks like China doesn't have any problem with the way they're doing this. Now they're looking for expediency, it seems to me. And I think they need to add a little bit of hardware to make sure they have a guided re-entry next time they launch. Yeah, look, they're really trying to be equal in terms of the U.S. and Russia. You know, the U.S. and Russia had a head start in terms of a lot of this, having that space race back in the late 50s into the 60s and 70s. And so what China's showing is that they can be equal partners and they can be equal footing to the U.S. and Russia. And this is exactly one of the reasons why they've launched and are building their own space station. The U.S. built Skylab, Russia built Mir, and now they have the International Space Station. Well, A, China is locked out of the International Space Station because of the U.S., but they also want to show that they can be and do just what the U.S. and Russia does. And part of that is showing we can build and operate our own space station. This is their goals on the moon. And later this month, we'll see China having their first rover doing the first potential touchdown on the surface of Mars. And again, this is something that Russia did and the U.S. did back in the 60s. And obviously, the U.S. is doing a lot of now and Russia with European partners. So, you know, China is trying to get to par with what the U.S. and Russia has done in the past, but also now keeping up with what they're doing now. So this is activity on the moon. This is looking upwards in space. So, you know, that they are what the U.S. and Russia did in the 60s. And that is they have a lot of people and a lot of money being thrown at the problem to solve it.